Welcome to CCIP. I'm Holly from Handset Management College and I'm intern at Fusha. Hello, I'm Claudia and I'm from Handset Management as well and I intern at Fusha. The cross-cultural internship program is a summer internship program administrated by Fusha Communications, which is a designated visa sponsor of the U.S. Department of State's Exchange Visitor Program. With the mission of promoting understanding between the people of the U.S and citizens of Asian and Pacific region nations, as well as fostering the growth of future global leaders. CCIP is a stepping stone for Asian exchange visitors to acquire practical experience and gain insights into American society. It is also the cultural gateway for U.S. host companies and organizations to connect with the international community and stay abreast of trends in the global marketplace. There are a total of nine accredited degree academic institutions working with CCIP, and they are located in Hong Kong, Macau, and Singapore. In Hong Kong, we have six partner schools, such as Hong Kong University and Chinese University of Hong Kong. In Macau, we have Macau University of Science and Technology. In Singapore, we have National University of Singapore and Nanyang Technology University. CCIP work with different qualified host organizations in the United States, which can offer structured and guided internship opportunities to the participants. There are a total of four categories of hosts. They are business, information media and communications, science and engineering, public administration and law. Now let's follow Dan and Thomas to the company's the internet. Hi. Uh, yeah. Hey. I've learned a lot about the legal structure in the United States and as well as the language um, skills I've learned here because there are many many different language sets that uh, have to be used. We have Chinese constituents, Korean constituents, and Spanish constituents. So I've actually learned how to communicate with them in a, in a certain way. And I actually learned a lot of time management skills because I had to do this uh, survey myself. And I had to do a lot of planning using you know Google Maps and everything. So to make sure I can reach office on time every day uh, and end work on time every day as well. So we also learned this uh, program called uh, Constituent Relationship Management. Um, this, this program actually allows us to, to key in all the information that we get during mobile office, which is uh, what we actually do when we go to senior centers to uh, speak to the constituents themselves. I think the most important thing from this internship was uh, the fact that it was a very eye-opening experience because I've never actually been to the United States itself. So I think it's a very, very good experience and I've learned a lot just by observing, listening and watching. And one of the best things would be all the friends that I've made here, including the one holding the camera right now. So, yeah, it's, it's not only from the internship itself, it's from the CCIP program as well. I've learned many things, different cultures, different languages, different you know, interests and hobbies. I've you know, I basically got to do everything that I ever wanted in the, in the United States. And most of all, it actually taught me how to you know, uh, cherish family because I haven't seen them in three months. So, yeah, that's about it. My expectations for interns are simply to keep an open mind and be committed to making this world a better place. That's really our role here is to always leave everything better than we found it. And so an intern doesn't have to have a particular background or a particular interest. They just need to be ready to work every day, all day, and to really put their heart and soul into it more than anything. The only special requirements that I would say are if you could come prepared knowing about the American government system. It's an incredibly complicated system, one that we take years here teaching and still many people don't know it. So if in advance you prep a little bit about the three different branches of government and the various levels of government, that would be most helpful. I'm looking for somebody who is a go-getter. I'm looking for somebody who cares. I'm looking for someone who really wants to make an impact on this world. Here, you know, our task can be very small and monotonous and it can make for a really long day or it can just be a really, really big issue that you just feel overwhelmed with and wonder how can you ever make a difference. So I want somebody that's excited enough and knows that they do make a difference day in and day out and won't let that discourage them.
So during the course of this internship, I've learned about self-learning. Why am I saying that is that because uh, in here, the tasks are often given to you uh, just an idea and you have to ask more clearly, clearly what, the, what the task is. There's a, a whole process of self-learning in the course of developing the app and also in, in the technical side in the technical side of the app I also have to learn how to use different components of the iOS as a development kit. In this whole internship it can help us develop fully in regarding of our teamwork, our individual motivation and self-improvement. My expectation is um, you're about to depart or about to uh, come out from school grant, right? mm -hmm. okay, go into the workforce. Uh, what I expect is a responsible individual. That's why I also look at how you communicate. Um, GPA may not mean a whole lot, but GPA means how you, you are responsible for your work. Okay, so it will be an indicator. And so what I expect is if you do your school well and you want to have the willingness to get a step up forward, that's all I'm expecting. Um, no pain, no gain. Okay, that's the first one. The second thing is when you harvest, you have to bend your back. Make sure you do not have cloud nine in your head. Okay? Uh, Humble to learn, keep on learning new things, okay? And one day, when once you have your good pool of innovations in it, you excel, you take off. Hello, I'm Sky. I'm working at EJ Asian Brokerage Corporation. And during this internship, I have learned a lot of soft skills. We should be detail-minded. It's quite important to work efficiently. Try to remember the flow of the work and do not do the repeat. And uh, also, it's important to learn from the past experience. When it comes to database, I have realized that it's quite important a good database could improve the efficiency and could improve the, the customer relationship management. And we should be confident. A willingness, a willingness to learn. What else? Um, somebody who wants to be exposed to the insurance business and uh, wants to learn about the insurance business. Somebody who doesn't feel uncomfortable asking questions and um, that's about it. If there's an intern that is willing to learn, I don't mind if the intern doesn't have prior working experience. Personality, yeah. um, you know, hardworking, um, curious, you know, um, again, just with the idea of asking questions, admitting when they don't understand something and um, Creative ideas, you know, maybe improving. I mean, I'm an older person, not so much in social media, so you know, those ideas from young people is always uh, are all welcome. For the reasons that I chose to work as an intern in New York City. The main reason is actually I want to work with the Western people just like uh, the American local people because I think uh, they are open-minded and so I can learn a lot of learn well critical thinking skill from them. And besides, New York is a uh, international financial city and just like you have a lot of uh, businessmen uh, working in Wall Street, so I would like to explore. Uh, the uh, New York City and know more about uh, the people who live in there and the environment of this city because I think uh, it will be interesting. So we look for um, 
interns who are easy to get along with, who are easy to work with, who are part of a team, um, who are willing to, who are friendly and willing to be cooperative in anything that we do. Um, for interns um, coming into our work site, um, we expect that the interns would be ready to do um, anything. That is, that they will be up to challenges, that they'll be willing to learn, um, that they would like music, um, they don't necessarily need to be able to play an instrument, but that they would appreciate the value of music, and uh, that they will be on time for the job, as well as um, be prepared sometimes maybe to work with deadlines, um, to prepare presentations, or maybe to do marketing, um, marketing of the company or prepare anything that we need for events. I believe New York is a center of economics and a big hub of uh, diverse culture. Uh, in the world. For that reason, I think every intern here is able to gain an, a strong insight uh, on world's first class economic in a very short time. Um, as one of the most magical city uh, in the world here, I think every industry here is well developed and is still developing too. So I think through being an intern in New York City, I can gain uh, much experience in related industry via like, particip participating in different projects in real estate development, which is the field I'm now interning in. And I believe it equips me with uh, higher competitiveness in future job seeking too. We're looking for people that are looking to learn, looking to learn about real estate in New York City and enjoy New York City and get to know it. Uh, we're looking for people who have a basic understanding of accounting and math and also have an interest in real estate. We're a real estate company and very involved in New York real estate and look for people that are looking to learn in that field. We're looking for someone gregarious, someone who's friendly. We have a very friendly atmosphere here, laid back, uh, but we get a lot of work done. So we need someone who's also uh, very studious and, and very willing to learn. Hi, my name is Brian Jones, Chief Operating Officer and Creative Director of Crystal McKenzie Incorporated here in New York City. Expectations for incoming interns. Well, now more than ever, uh, verbal and analytical skills are key. Uh, the pace is uh, fast, it's, uh, business is up and down, you never know what's coming from day to day. So, asking questions, I expect interns to ask questions. Um, again, uh, punctuality and uh, enthusiasm are key. That's very important. It's also important to think, T-H-I-N-K, think. <laughs> That's really important. And the fact that they're thinking about it, they've analyzed the situation, and then what comes out will be something positive, and it's good to say, I am thinking. Um, also, teamwork, um, the ability to lead and follow. Sometimes you lead, sometimes you follow. But things that stand out are uh, one ability to overcome fear. So again, my favorite thing to hear from a student is, I was thinking. That's important. Internship, I learned a lot of things. Marketing is just trying to package themselves and really make their products sound good. A couple of times I was given a task and I just did it, but it wasn't exactly what my supervisor wanted. From then on, I learned that I should just ask him um, more details, like how he wanted it, and it's more efficient that way. Another thing that I learned would be really just to take on as much as you can because um, I'm really happy that like after these many weeks I've been so involved in so many projects that it's only a two months program so I'd say take on as much as you can and um, another plus would be you have more to write on your CV.
experience in New York and the internship itself is very different from my previous life in uh, in Hong Kong or Taiwan because you know New, New Yorkers they work hard, pray hard, like they work very seriously but when they are off work they're hey, they're yeah they're they're just chilling and they hang out with friends and that's what we do here so I feel like it's very different and unique and I treasure that a lot. I literally don't know what to do in the beginning. I basically just try to be try to be proactive. I literally just went to my supervisors like once every 15 minutes for stupid questions. But I think that's just a key. You 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 try to earn more experience and you start to read. You start to understand what's on the paper and what's going on in the field. And that's a point where everything starts to be better. The willingness to to learn. So, the intern must listen to every word I say and follow all my instructions and ask questions if they have any problems they encounter. If they have a job right, assigned to them and then they completed the job and they did not say anything after completion of the job, right there and then they stop learning because they don't have anything to work. So, I expect the interns to ask for more work. The more work they do, the more learning they get. That's all. YMCA. This is the place we live with all other interns and um, there are like many facilities like gym rooms and swimming pools and dance rooms. Yeah, yeah. Um, all of us live in the same facility so I think it's good because as interns we all work in different places and this allows us to interact with each other, stay in the same like area. We usually bond in the toilet sometimes <laughs> in each other's rooms because the toilet here is communal. Um, the staff here are really friendly and um, like what Jane said, we have facilities here. So um, sometimes after work, it's very convenient for us yeah. to go to the gym or like for me, I like swimming and then some people um, like playing basketball. So yeah, yeah, we like it here. Yeah, we like it. <laughs> okay, um, over here we have our cafe. So that's the cafe over there. But as you can see, so it closed it's closed and it's a bit made from work. Um, and this is the area where people just chill and um, sometimes we bring our dinner here to eat with the other interns and you can see some of our fellow interns are planning their trip to Boston. Tired. Oh, we need to submit the weekly reflection today. Remember? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so let me check. Basically, EK wants us to finish our weekly reflections every week. Yeah. Yeah. And we need to submit it every Friday, like before Friday night. Yeah, we're supposed to um, evaluate how useful, um, how productive we've been at our office, how much we've done, what we've learned. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think our, um, they place a lot of emphasis on what we learned. Yeah. Yeah. 